Let's create a report in TDO in a patient where we already have acquired some cone beam volumes. Simply go up to the images, click on images, and the image organizer will load. In that, you can see that we've done, we've done several cone beam images. This particular patient is one from the cadaver study. And by double clicking on any of the 3D icons or any of the images uh, that have been uh, screen captured, you will actually load the volume. We double click and that volume loads and now you have access to all of the the DICOM images in that volume. If we select the uh, zoom function in the Kodak software, we can zoom these images up and when we go to the slide function, we can go through the volume. Here you can see I'm going through this bicuspid. If I magnify that up, you can actually see the anatomy in this particular tooth. And I will want to have that in my report, so I will go to the slice that I want. I will come over here to the screen capture. I will click it. Now this particular view has been added into the TDO image organizer. Here it is right here. If I go back to the Kodak software and I select another image, let's say here I want to show this uh, radiolucency that we have created in the cadaver. I go over to the screenshot, I click it, and now that goes into TDO as well. Then I would like to take these and maybe annotate them within TDO. I simply go up to main data, go into the draw page, single click there, go over to the right part of the draw page, single click again, and now I have both of these loaded uh, into the draw page and I can actually annotate them. Select the arrow, maybe the color that I want, and I draw my arrow there and I come over here and I draw an arrow there. Maybe I want to annotate them with some uh, text. And I an annotate them here. And then I save each of these. Click on the right picture, save, save that as well. And now those are saved into the image organizer. And when we go to the image organizer, you can see that those annotations are saved. Now I want to put these into a report. So I close the draw page, go into my letters, and I select the report in TDO that I want. And that report loads. You can see we've scheduled this patient for next Monday. The findings from the multi-tooth info form are already populated into the form and now I will want to uh, include some of these pictures so I simply go into TDO and I will indicate the location where I want those pictures and let's say let's load at the periapical view there's the periapical view I'll want to have some spacing I'll load the extracted tooth x-ray as well. This is a cadaver case, so we were able to extract. Maybe I want one of these pictures from the image organizer as well. And then let's look at some of the, let's load some of the pictures that I annotated. There's one right there. And there's the second one right there. 
So these will be included in that report. And then I simply save or save send. If we want to send this to the doctor, we specify uh, the email. If we want to fax it or print it, um, we do that as well. And then we save and send. I won't send this by email right now. I'll just save it. And that will create a PDF uh, letter for me and a Word letter for me. And that is saved in the letter list. And it's right here. And I can load that. And there's the letter. So this is a very, very uh, efficient way to create a report uh, using the image organizer and the cone beam functionality uh, that's built in to TDO.